Welcome to Farm Fish Table, a series of videos where we're going to give you a behind the scenes look at what we do to stock our region's reservoirs with prime rainbow trout. This morning I'm visiting our fish farm in Teesdale to show you where the trout we stock into the reservoirs on our waterside parks come from. Let's go take a look. The fish here are prime rainbow trout and they will go into the reservoirs at Derwent, Grassholm, Hury, Fontburn and Scaling Dam. Anglers at those reservoirs can then challenge themselves to catch a fantastic home raid quality product. The size and scale of the farm, we've got three tanks, all very similar size and we have about 70,000 fish, um, all at different stages of um, progression. This tank in front of us here, there's the small ones, um, they're about 50 gram. Um, those will be for stocking um, next year. We have a middle tank just next to us, which um, we've got around 21,000 fish in there and uh, they're ready now for stocking. We stock them weekly. Um, stocking size, uh, about two pound. Um, you get different sizes, obviously, and we grade them as and when every week, just to make sure the, um, the fish size is correct. We predominantly stock rainbow trout. Um, we get a few browns and some blues, which are very popular with anglers. Very good quality fish, all good pristine, fully finned fish. It's not an intensive farming process, so we get going into a bit more detail with um, feed qualities and things like that, and we don't over condense them, so we get good quality product at the end of the day. Like the fish, we get the delivery from um, a larger fish farm in um, Yorkshire. Um, they provide all our fish at present. Those fish come in about 45 gram in weight and then it takes about a year and a half to get them up to stocking in the reservoirs. So um, that's the process of feeding them and looking after them. A day in the life of a ranger um, on the Teesdale side, we obviously have to look after the reservoirs as well, um, make sure the members of the public enjoying themselves out and about and safety wise. And then um, on the fish farm, um, we have to do lots of checks. Fish need good oxygen in at water to make sure they're um, healthy. If there's not enough oxygen in water, we can't feed them. There's lots of balances we have to keep in check. And then um, feeding them, which is um, one of the main parts of the job, um, trying to get as much food in. But steady, so we're not overfeeding them. So if, if you put too much food in, they can, uh, that can cause them harm, but um, enough so that they're um, grown on ready for um, stocking in our reservoirs. Obviously if it's too hot they can't feed, if it's too cold they won't feed, so a good balanced weather for us is, is perfect for the job. A lot of our rangers are um, fishermen themselves, so we're very passionate about fish welfare. Farming anything um, obviously has its pros and cons, um, but we try to meet the highest standards all the time. Later we're heading to Derwent Reservoir to take a look at one of the stunning locations where we stock the trout for our anglers to catch. Join us in part two of Farm Fish Table. Mm -hmm. 